So welcome back guys today in another Kids Coding Playground episode. And today we will be making a new game called The Flying Cat. So the point of the game is for the cat to get the balloons and the, yeah, and to get the balloons to get points. So in the Flying Cat um, game, we will be learning these concepts in Scratch. Understanding broadcasting messages, using the variables, when key pressed, loops, pick random, and the next costume. So these are some things we'll be learning. So this is the demo for the game. So I'm just going to make it larger. There is music, so uh, you might not be able for, to hear me as well, but so I won't talk that. So, so you can move around and then um, catch the balloons and the clouds in. And the points are going up and the clouds in. Um, Buildings are decoration, as you can see. So I'm gonna make a new project, um, and I'll be teaching you how to make this game. Before I start, can you please like, share, and subscribe to support our channel, please? Um, so yes. Okay. So first, let's go to the let's delete the sprite one, the the regular. So let's go to the background, get the if the flag clicked, then get the forever because we want the music to play forever. We're letting the background play it. So you go to the sounds. You can use any music you want, but I'm using, um, let's go to loops, let's see. I'm going to use dance celebration. Yeah, this one. So I'll be using this one, and then you take play sound dance celebration until done. So, we gotta get our sprites now. So we can get the flying cat sprite. So let's get the flying cat sprite right there. We need the building sprite right there. We need the cloud sprite. Let's see if I can search this. Oh, it's right, I think it's right, yeah, it's right there. We can also get the balloon sprite so let's search this up there we go so uh, oh yes i forgot about the background so let's go to the backdrop let's see what we can get like sky theme related so let's go blue sky so let's get straight to the thing and then let's start at the buildings so the if uh flag clicks let's zoom out a little bit one as the if flag click, we always start out with this one. Control forever, always. Set, yeah, yeah, I think I can go one bigger. Set X to 250, so it'll stay there. Next costume, so go, keep on changing costumes like it's a different building. And repeat a hundred times. Repeat a hundred. And then put change X by minus five. So pause the video when you need it. And if I'm going a little bit too quick. So this is the code for the building. Now let's move on to the clouds. The clouds. We always have to start out with the if green flag clicked forever because it has to do it forever set y to pick random one uh one to 180 so i'll pick a random y from one to 180 set x to 250 250 next costume so yeah, it'll keep on because the clouds has has costumes as well. So repeat fifty times. Change x by negative ten. So that's the cloud sprite. So if I'm going too quick again, you can pause the video if you need it. So we're moving on to the balloon sprite. 
this is what the scratch cat, the flying cat, collects. So the if green flag clicked, it will show go forever because always forever. Next costume go to random position because it's going to the random position. Set X to 250. So it'll set X to 250. Repeat 32 times. So we'll keep on going for 32 times. Change X by negative 15. So we're not done with the balloon sprite yet, but then um, we will be going back to here later because. Um, it has broadcasting inside and we want to do the receiving messages later so it's not that confusing. So let's go to the cat now. So, always start out if the green flag is clicked. Go to the front layer. Say, uh, let's go zoom out a little bit. One, I think that's enough. Say, time to fly. Think time to fly. You can say anything you want. But I, because uh, he's flying, I would write time to fly. So, and then you also need the up arrow. Let's go here. Like you, so you can move it with the arrow keys. So you can use WASD if you want. But let's do up arrow, change Y by 10. So we can duplicate that and change this to the down arrow and change it to negative 10 because the down arrow is the opposite of the up arrow. So let's go the right arrow and left arrow. So the right arrow, let's put this a little bit here. The right arrow is X because it's right and left is X. So change X by 10. We can duplicate that again and change it negatively and change it to negative 10. So we're not done with the code here yet. We have to do if then a uh, green flag clicked if green flag clicked again and then we have to make a variable called points so the points will be like a score but today I decided to use points so set points to zero always in the beginning a forever loop but if then loop, so two loops, if then it's touching balloon, because that's how how the cat gets um, points. So if then touching the balloon, broadcast touch balloon. Let's make the message touch, touch balloon. So we go to the balloon. And we're not done, as I said earlier, because it's broadcasting messages. When I receive touch balloon, it will change the points because that's how it gets points. So change points by one. So it's going to hide after when you get it. And it's going to wait two seconds and show again. Wait two seconds and show again. And I suppose that's all the code. So... Let's you always have to click the save button and then let's rename this to flying cat. Flying cat. So now we can play the music. See look the clouds and buildings, the decoration. You can move up and down and left and right. And then you can gather the balloons. They can be anywhere. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. And have a good day.